Hello all. Today I am discussing the topic surface tension. So what is surface tension? Have you noticed the shape of a water droplet? The shape of a bubble? Have you noticed this? It usually if you see the raindrops, bubbles, they are sphere in shape. So have you questioned yourself why it is spherical? Why it is not cylindrical? Why it is not uh, like a square shape? Why it is or is cubic? I mean the sphere. Why is not cubic? Sorry. Why it is a sphere? Spherical shape. So the surface tension concepts exactly clicked in my in scientist mind that why the water droplets, water bubbles are spherical in shape. Even if you have a larger droplet, water bubbles, you just split it into two, then it will also become smaller drop, uh, droplets of smaller, smaller sizes, which will also be spherical. So basically, there is something which, for which it is going to have this spherical shape. So what is the scientific logic behind of this phenomena? Why the droplets, why the bubbles are in sphere? So let's check it out. First of all, we know that each object, the natural thing, natural state of an object to be in equilibrium, to be in its equilibrium state. So each object will try to be in its equilibrium state at its natural position. So what if I tell you that the spherical shape is it's exactly the equilibrium state of nature its equilibrium state that is it will get the surface will get its minimum energy when the sphere shape is spherical so to get minimum potential energy it will take Spherical shape. I can explain a lot of things regarding this because the energy, energy equilibrium that belongs to the thermodynamics and thermodynamics you will uh, you will be uh, uh, you will be introduced to that gives free energy and some kind of other energies. I am not going to uh, men in details, but the what I am trying to say that this is the least. Uh, energy possessed by the system when its shape is spherical. Now, have you ever thought that what happens when a liquid uh, is within a container and what happens to the boundary between the, uh, there is air or vapor and this is another kind of state that is liquid. So what happens within the boundary, boundary region? Maybe have you ever noticed that the long trees, okay, they have a long tree. So here we know they have some capillary tubes to pump the water from their roots up to their leaves. So we also know that in thermodynamics, according to thermodynamics, the, I mean the gravitation force is towards this. Why it is up, going upward? Why the... What is the pumping behind the capillary tubes to carry the water up to the leaves of a long tree? So what is the logic? You should question yourself what is the pumping process here? So all things belong to this surface tension phenomena. Whenever you question yourself, you just question everything surrounding yourself, the shape of a paper, why it is spherical. The trees that are long, uh, that are tall trees, how they can, how the uh, water from the roots can reach up to their leaves. You will find the answer when you study surface tension. So it is just an introduction to the surface tension. I, today I just encourage you to think more about the phenomena. Next time I will tell you, uh, I will explain you what are the basic reasons behind these questions. What are the basic answers? Thank you.